Welcome to 360 Degrees Business Health Check. My name is Hillary. Before we do any other thing, if you're watching us for the first time, please subscribe. If you are a repeat uh, audience, please subscribe. I've noticed a number of people are watching, but they're not subscribing. Kindly subscribe for uh, frequent updates from our site. We have a lot to do with business, finance, procurement, strategy. We have a lot for our audience in this season. So make sure you click that button for lively updates. Thank you so much. Now we move into the subject of today. Today I'm going to talk about debt. I'm going to talk about debt. Any business will need money to run its operations. Any business at one point will need a loan. Even if you have your own money, you have equity. But sometimes equity is not enough. You need additional uh, sources of finance so that you can push your projects, so that you can do that project, so that you can increase your capacity. So I'm talking to people who have taken loans with the banks, institutions, or from individuals uh, as a business. However, you are facing hardships. Sometimes in business we face unseen circumstances. You are doing business but you don't see what is going to happen tomorrow. A good example, three years ago COVID was with us. I'm, I'm sure 90% of businesses were affected because nobody knew there will be COVID. Even as late as 2019, October, not so many people knew that the next year will be a disaster. So many companies that are taking facilities, mortgages, loans, they ended up in a tight corner because they could not meet their debt obligation. Or oh, this a video is about a person that has taken uh, that has an obligation with a bank, an institution, and then something comes up and they found themselves in financial distress. You find your company is in a financial distress, you can no longer pay your obligation in time. What should you do? Should you just keep quiet? Should you just ignore and things will be okay? No, as a business person, you don't do that. You've taken a loan, you're paying it, and something happens, you can no longer pay the same way you used to do. You don't just keep silent. So what, what you need to do, you need to approach your lender. You need to approach your financier to renegotiate the terms of the loan. Because loans must be paid, regardless of the circumstances. So I'm talking about loan restructuring. You need to visit your lender and begin to renegotiate the terms and conditions of the facility you're running. So we call it restructuring, debt restructuring or loan restructuring. So this loan restructuring is able to help you meet your obligation without your business shutting down. Because business is an ongoing concern. So we need your business to continue into the future. At the same time, we need you to meet your obligation without being termed or tagged a defaulter by the banks. It can affect your credit worthiness. So we have to save both things. Your business should do well. You should meet your obligation and also your credit rating should remain up there. One of the things you can do, approach your lender for a loan moratorium. What is a loan moratorium? A loan moratorium is like a holiday. The lender can give you some time where you can skip your payments. You, you can only skip the principal amount where you agree. Where you agree you only pay the interest. Wait. You can approach your lender with, with a proposal. So one of the proposals we have to look at is loan moratorium. A loan moratorium is like a holiday where you skip the payments for some time. One of the ways you can do this is by agreeing or negotiating with the lender so that you only pay the interest in that period as you organize yourself, as you look for alternative ways of paying. So we call it debt moratorium or loan moratorium. It's like a holiday. I know you, you know what to call a tax holiday. So this is like a debt holiday. They can give you six months or 90 days depending on how you agree. During this period, you only pay the interest, but you don't pay the principal. So that, that, that's the first proposal you can give to a lender. 
extending the repayment period. If you have taken a facility that is supposed to run for 48 months, those are two years, and you discover you can no longer uh, meet uh, the repayment amount that period, you can, they can extend that period to either three years, from two years to three years. So extending the repayment period can also ease the financial burden on you so that you can easily uh, meet uh, those obligations. The proposal from, the, from your business to the lender is reduced repayment amounts. For, for instance, you've been paying $5,000 per month. You can reduce it to be $2,500 per month so that it can ease the burden on you until your business picks up. Another way is called reduction of rates, although this one is not common, it's rare, where the lender agrees to reduce the interest on your loans. If you are a good client, you've been with them for some time, you can renegotiate rene 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 uh, interest rates so that they give you a lenient rate. I'm sure during the COVID-19, most banks extended reduction of interest rates, which is not a common practice in the banking industry because you know when they're giving you a loan, they're in business and that money, they have already calculated uh, the, the profits they're going to um, get from the loan, pay the depositors and the bank remains with the, its margins to run the business. You have to look at the, like the last proposal, which is called a refinancing. You are paying this loan and you discover the first thing, the loan is expensive. The rates are high. You can opt to go and take another loan with cheaper rate, a cheaper loan, a cheaper credit facility. You come and clear the existing loan in one bullet, and then you continue paying the other loan at a good rate, convenient rate and affordable rate. So I call it refinancing. Refinancing is taking another loan to pay the existing loan. It only happens when the existing loan is too expensive and you fear that if you continue paying the way you have agreed, you'll end up paying more interest rate on the loan. So you borrow. You get a cheaper credit facility to come and pay for the most expensive facility. So viewers, these are ways you can Go around your debt obligations so that your business continues into the future, you meet your obligations, and you are not tagged as a defaulter. Thank you so much. Watch the next video.